Main character energy, it is the lifestyle buzzword of 2023 and it really means to be the star of your own show, the hero or heroine of your own life, to romanticize your life and really live it to the full with full confidence front and center. <laughs> and if you want to give that type of energy to your baby, then you really need a standout main character baby name. I have your back. I have so many gorgeous standout names that are really, really unique that you'll absolutely love. Got a rebel soul. My name is SJ, I am a baby name consultant here in the UK and co-host of the Baby Name Envy podcast. I am all over the press this week talking about main character energy names because they are flying up through the charts. If you love baby names or naming a baby, then do hit subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the community and add more names to the comment section below that fit in with this theme. As always, you can join in and consult with me. These names are brave, they are bold. They are pairs as well. I've done them in little pairs, first some middle names, so you get tons and tons and tons of ideas. I'm gonna start with boys, because I love the boy names on this list. So my first one is the name Elwood. So I love Elwood and it means from the elder trees or where the elder trees grew and elder trees were really revered for their sort of medicinal purposes so that sort of idea of this um, powerful tree is really really lovely <laughs> um, and I really like Elwood so I loved the name Woody when I was naming the boys um, I couldn't get my husband on board with it but I think he would just kept thinking of the Toy Story cowboy <laughs> but Elwood is a great choice it's got a bit more gravitas a little bit more strength a little bit more grown up potentially than Woody but Woody could be a great nickname for when they're younger and then I paired Elwood with the middle name Sky. So Sky is the guy in Mamma Mia if you know but Sky there were only seven boys named Sky last year which I think is a shame because I think it's such a gorgeous name and it works really well and it's kind of gentle but it does have a strength to it and one syllable names are really really perfect for middle spots if you weren't brave enough to use Sky as a first name. So Elwood Sky, the sky over the trees, really really beautiful name, really really strong, very leading man vibes. My next name is Marlo so if you've been on my channel a while you will know I love the name Marlo. It was actually a name I had for my daughter as my second name didn't go with it in the end but a surname as first name the name Marlowe is really really cool and it comes from Kit Marlowe Christopher Marlowe who went by Kit who was Shakespeare's co-writer for a lot of his plays so a really traditional name that's really really strong and really really works as a strong leading man name and then I paired it with the middle name Jet so I really liked this idea because Marlowe means um, house on a hill so this idea of this imagery of this sort of um, dark house up on a hill, very brooding and moody, um, but I really liked Marlow Jet together because Jet's quite strong with the strong T's and Marlow's quite soft, so it kind of works together. It's very gender neutral. What do you think of Marlow Jet? I absolutely love it. I just need a few more babies, or should we call this one Marlow Jet the plant? <laughs> Um, the next one I have is Quinlan. So Quinlan literally means strong and it's Q-U-I-N-L-A-N, Quinlan. And I think it's a really cool underused name. So it's Irish. It was an Irish surname originally, Quinlan. So it's got really, really strong Celtic roots, which a lot of us do. A lot of people are asking for Irish names. Quinlan really, really works. And it also comes up sometimes as meaning son of the handsome man. So I think we can sell that to any uh, dads out there. <laughs> That's why I want to call him Quinlan after you. And then the middle name I did was Knox, K-N-O-X always been drawn to this name. I think Quinlan Knox sounds really strong. He sounds like a lawyer in an American movie <laughs> or a John Grisham, Quinlan Knox. Uh, but that's what I'm here for. I said main character energy, I'm gonna go for it. Together they mean strong earth. So really, really cool, really, really trendy, out there with a the Q and the X. He's gonna win at Scrabble. I love the name Koa as an alternative to Noah and Koa means warrior. Noah is our number one name in the UK and if you sort of love it, but it's been pinched probably if you do really like it. And I paired it with the middle name Saxby. So I know a girl named Saxby and I think it's so cool. So I love Koa Saxby, really, really beautiful pairing together. 
where Coa means warrior, Saxby was a swordsman, was like an old word for a sword or a swords person. Um, so I thought Coa and Saxby, they go really, really well together. They're very um, evocative of kind of this um, outdoorsy, adventurous type of person, I think. The name Cyrus is really cool and it is actually on the rise. It's at 6.50 in the charts, but it's really like trending at the moment, Cyrus. Have you heard it? Would you use it? It means sun and it's a Persian name, sun as in sunshine. Um, Always beautiful would have a name meaning sun as well for our lovely little sons. Um, Cyrus, I really, really like it. And then I've mixed it in the middle with the name Avel, which means caring breath. Isn't that an amazing name? I just found out, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So it's come as kind of similar to Abel, which we hear a biblical name, but it's Avel. So really nice. So I don't know if you would say Avel, um, which I was playing around with, but most pronunciations I heard were Avel, and maybe because it's just loads nicer, but I really liked Cyrus Avel. And the idea that it's this um, breath of sunshine coming into your life is just really, really sweet to me. And how about Henry? So really interesting because Henry has been around for so long and Hendrix has been kind of on the rise, but it's a little bit rock and roll. Um, whereas I thought Henry is a little bit more um, rom-com hero, you know, nice guy hero um, without the leather jacket. It's, you know, like Grease 2, the first version, not when he wears his leather jacket. <laughs> Hendry. I actually jumped into the charts for the first time last year, Hendry. So do you know little Hendry? I think it's because of the Hendrix vibe. It's kind of like um, sneaking up on the back of it. So I absolutely love it. And I paired it with the middle name Dune, D-U-N-E, like a sand dune. So it means at home on the beach which is really, really lovely. So if you're kind of a family who absolutely adore the beach and love to spend your time there, who doesn't want some warmth um, at the moment, then Henry June could be perfect for you. The name Lowen for boys means happy. Lowen, it's so nice. It's actually at number 482 in the charts and it's kind of passed me by. I don't know anyone called Lowen. I've always liked the name Owen. It's my brother-in-law's middle name. Fun fact, fun fact. Um, <laughs> I've always liked it. I liked Mark Owen. I like lots of things about the name Owen, um, but I loved Lowen more because I love the nickname Low. I've always really liked it for it sounds really classy and I think it sounds so cool on a guy. So, so nice, Lowen. And then I paired it with the middle name Eames, E-A-M-E-S. So the designer Eames made the Eames chair, but Eames actually means protector. So I quite like the idea that Lowen Eames means your protector of joy or your protector of happiness. So special. Um, I love it when these names go together. Let me know if you like having like the two names together because I can do that in a few more videos. Um, I've got a couple more for boys. I've got Timian, Timian, which is a Norwegian name. I'd never heard it before and I love the nickname Tim, or the name Tim, because I think if you're going with Jack or something like that, which is so popular, you want something short and playful, Tim is actually much further down and does the same job. And I knew little Tim, baby Tim, and it was just really, really sweet. I think it's overlooked and underused, it's traditional, but maybe because the Timothy thing isn't landing for people and Timian just sounds suddenly so trendy, so relevant, so 2023 Timian. I absolutely love it. And it means somebody who grows herbs. So, so trendy, uh, somebody who grows herbs and spices, or it can mean where the wild thyme grows, not having a wild thyme. <laughs> Um, even though that does suit some sort of main character energy, um, but thyme as in the herb, T-H-Y-M-E, where the wild thyme grows as well. So a really earthy, fun name, Timian, could just go by Tim, and then the middle name I've done with it is Brooks. So adding the S to the end of any of these words, like rivers, I like, Brooks, really, really trendy, Collins, that's like an American thing, hasn't quite come over here yet, but the S on the end really, really works, and I think Timmy and Brooks sounds so lovely together, and then you get this really evocative feeling of this guy, of this person who can grow the herbs and the wild um, spices out by the water, so it's got a really, really beautiful feeling to it. Anyone who has synesthesia and can taste names, let me know what Timmy and Brooks tastes like to you. And I think this is my last one for boys, I have Xavius, 
So I absolutely obsessed with the name Xavius. I've heard Xavier before, it starts with the X, but this ends in Z-A-V-I-U-S. I didn't know that Xavier and Xavius both mean new home or home, which I love the name meaning home. My little boy's middle name is Boo, which is Scandinavian meaning home as well. I just always really like it because it's just like family to me. So Xavius, and then I've done the middle name Frey, F-R-E-Y. So you've heard Freya, really popular for girls, and it's the goddess, the Norse goddess of peace, fertility, rain, and sunshine. And Frey is the male counterpart. So he is the male god of um, peace, fertility, rain, and sunshine. So really, really lovely, Frey. And I just think it sucks. sounds so trendy. Xavius Frey really works together. So some short, sweet, one syllable middle spots and some around the world boy names. Which are those your favorite? So for my leading lady main energy character girl names, I've gone for it, guys. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, okay, that does sound like uh, somebody on a Netflix show that I would watch at like 10 p.m. and wonder where do they get these wacky character names from. Let me go in gently. Actually, first one I'll do is the name Gloria after saying all of that. This is my gently easing you in, Gloria. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It is actually on the rise a little bit here in the UK and it's vintage, but it's so underused, but it's starting to have its tiny little kick up. And I love it because I heard somebody on a podcast the other day who has Gloria and they call her Glow. And I just thought it was so beautiful and I was like really, really into it. So I've done the middle name Esmere, which means um, the moon the dark moon, a Turkish name that we've talked about before um, on the channel because I just think it's beautiful and with so similar to Emily or Amelia Esmere, really, really works. So Gloria Esmere, really, really beautiful and really works together. And then you have this main me name meaning the glow of the dark moon, which is gorge. I found this name Doli, D-O-L-I. And I was like, well, I absolutely love it because again, it's not dissimilar to Olivia. And people are, you know, Olivia is still really, really popular here in the UK. But Doli is a Native American name meaning bluebird. And bluebird is such a beautiful symbol we see all those little bluebirds in disney movies flying around and i thought so many of you would absolutely love the name dolly because i do like dolly but um it's not dolly it's dolly which is really sweet but she could be you could nickname her dolly i would um but dolly so lovely and the bluebird is the symbol of joy and happiness as well so really really beautiful or sometimes even the symbol between um heaven and earth so really beautiful for a much longed for baby or a rainbow baby a really really beautiful name and i've paired it with with the name Odell. So the reason I did that is because Odell means song and I loved the idea of the name meaning bird song and it looked so pretty and I was thrilled with it. And then when I was thinking, it, I was like, Dolly Odell, is it sound like I'm yodeling now? Dolly Odell? <laughs> Maybe it's too much. So come to me in the comment section with another middle name for Dolly um, that works with Bluebird. Dolly... Mm, oh, I've got another one meaning blue. I'm going to go to that one now. What do you think about the name Azura? A-Z-U-R-A. -A. This is my favourite combo coming up. Azura. I adore Azura. I just think it's so cool with that Z. It sounds so beautiful, Azura. And it means blue sky. So really, really gorgeous. So she could be Dolly Azura. That works. Look at me linking things together. <laughs> um, Azura. But I did the middle name. Wait for it. I did Azura Daybreak. I'm obsessed with it, guys. Blue sky, blue mornings, you know, like blue sky in the morning. It's actually really blue sky today, Azura Daybreak. I just suddenly thought that Daybreak is the most beautiful name. <laughs> Um, we had on one of my name lists a wildcard Sundance and somebody chose it for their little boy. So I might get a daybreak. I love the name Day. I think it's beautiful in itself. And I just thought Azura Daybreak sounds so trendy as. Can somebody use it or write the character? I did do Esme. So if you're thinking I've, she's lost the plot, Esme, beautiful name, underused in my opinion, which means loved. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's really, really strong, classy, elegant, but is um, standout. It's very, very like 50s, iconic Esme to me. I really love it. Never get bored of saying it either. It's really, really pretty. And then I paired it with... <laughs> 
Da -da. <laughs> the middle name Echo. So Echo is a legit first name. Quite a few babies are being born being called Echo after the Greek nymph. She was cursed to only be able to repeat back the last word that Narcissus said to her. And then he was obviously cursed to be in love with himself. So it was all a very toxic relationship. But the name Echo is lovely. And I love the idea that it's this love that you feel twice or love um, that you speak twice. It's really, really lovely. It might be a nice twin name, Esme Echo. Very, very cool. Very leading vibes, leading heroin vibes. What do you think of the name Vespa? Vespa actually means evening star. And if you're spiritual, you may have heard of Vespa being a kind of evening prayer as well. And I think it's a really gorgeous as a name. It really stands out, really different. We've heard Vega. Get out of here, Vega, Vader, <laughs> Nova. We're going with Vespa now as my new name of 2023, Vespa. I think it's really lovely and I can't get it out of my mind. I think it looks really pretty. It sounds a bit like Esther and all those star names, which I love. And then I did the middle name Soul because I'm doing word names in the middle. One syllable word names. And I love Vespa Soul. A star from my soul is really lovely. There were actually eight girls called Vespa last year. So it's not unheard of although it is unique but i hope somebody out there really loves it and my last one is the name beacon now it's totally unranked <laughs> you might say because it's not a name i know but i love it as a name because you can be b and you can be connie so you've got your sort of trendy short like beatrice it starts like beatrice so it really really works to me and it means this bringer of light which i'm just really really into beacon and i love the fact that she could do that play around with those nicknames and i did the middle name rune so runes are secret so beacon rune means a secret light which i just think is really lovely i just think it sounds really trendy as a name very bold as i said this is a bold list guys is bold next week i'll do something less bold i'll do traditional but underused <laughs> back in our comfort zone but beacon rune in there were a lot of runes there were 10 boys named rune and three girls named rune but that would be the scandinavian where they do runa and they do the e at the end rather than a rune which was germanic and i think those um the little secret symbols on a stone you know what i mean a rune um so beacon rune I'm into it. I'm into this whole vibe. Main character energy is all over the charts. We've seen Maverick go up. We've seen Thor go up. We've seen babies born who are called Villanelle after killing Eve. Um, we've seen Marilyn rise through the charts. So really strong standout leading character names are where it's going to be at for a little while. I hope you've enjoyed this list. <laughs> Even if it's been a bit challenging for some of you, I'm sure there's at least one or two names on here that you're like, if I was brave enough, I love it. So let me know what those are in the comment section below. Let me know any requests for lists and I will get going through your lists um, over the next few weeks. Thank you so much for all your patience, people who've been on the channel for a long time and watch these videos weekly on a Monday and there's pauses and breaks. My sister's really, really unwell at the moment. So um, understandably, it's just really, really difficult to keep up with the schedule um and show up with my face and my voice sometimes because I just want to lie flat and stare at a wall <laughs> so or I'm with my sister so it's been really tough um if you're not new here and don't know what I'm talking about my sister has cancer stage four uh it's really really difficult but she is my co-host on the podcast so at least I can go and listen to us in happier times over on the pod which is really really nice um and we thank you for your continued support um and I will see you next week on my next video Bye, guys.